Hello crafters, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making a lantern to go in the middle of a swag of a garland. I have done two already, so I'm bringing a third one to camera. Um, I'm going to use predominantly Poundland items. The first two I did, I used just things from my stash, but I wanted to bring this to you just in case you wanted to recreate it. This lantern is from Poundland. Now my Poundland still has these up, but I don't know if they're gonna be up kind of nationwide. So the lanterns from Poundland. I'm going to use a tea light which is battery operated but it's on a timer but Poundland do sell um, tea light hold, uh, LED tea lights. We're going to be using some of the Hollyberry picks. We're going to be using some of the fern picks and then the only item that isn't from Poundland and this is from my stash and that's these um, Alpine picks. We're going to be using some ribbon from Poundland and we're also going to be using some um, zip ties from Poundland. So the first thing I need to do is take out a few of these smaller ones. Just going to leave those to one side. And the first thing I'm going to do is the bow. So I think this is the first time that I have ever attempted to do a bow on camera. Right. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um, videos out there of how to do bows. I'm just going to do the way that I do mine. And I'm just going to um, hold mine, squish my two pieces. That is the end. And I'm going to bring it into, it's probably about three inches, four inches. And I'm going to pinch. And I'm going to bring the other side and do the same thing. And pinch it in the middle. And I'm going to repeat that process so I have um, a slightly larger tail each time, but I'm going to do it three uh, three times on each side, so six times all together. So this is five. And because this is double um, sided ribbon, I don't have to worry about turning it around. And then the final loop, I'm going to leave longer, because that'll be my tails. And then I'm going to bring that into the center also. And that's where now I use my zip ties. Zip ties, cable ties, which are whatever part of the, the world you're from, will depend on what you call them. So I'm just going to do that, secure the center and cut off the excess. Okay, this tail I am now going to fold and then I'm going to fold the two wired edges. Oh, I forgot to mention that this, this is a wire edge ribbon. And then I'm going to cut to the two wired edges and that will give me a lovely dovetail. And then I will fluff that out when we come to use it later. So I'm just going to put that to one side from that for now. And then we're going to come to our arrangement. So I'm going to have these pine needles on both sides. And what I'm doing is I'm overlapping them. So as you can see, the wires are there. I'm just overlapping them. And then I need to dissect my fern. And these ferns are really easy to, to dissect. You literally just pull them out from the pick that they're attached to. Probably only going to need two of those. And I need to have some of this. So again, I'm just going to dissect the pick. And I'm probably only going to use two of those as well. Okay. And obviously this is a separate piece of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this wire around the leaves. And I'll do the same here, just so it secures them. Okay, so I have my, let me start again. I have my two pieces, so I'll cross them over. And I'm going to add my fern. And if you want to wrap your fern wire, because it's thinner than the um, the wire for this pine pick, then you can do that. Add another one. You can bend these, but they are slightly thicker. So just be careful if you've got um, dexterity problems. And then adding this one to this side. And then 
adding these also. And then I'm going to use another cable tie zip tie and I'm going to attach all of those um, together so it becomes one piece. Making sure it's pulled as tight as it can be and then snip off the excess. Okay. Now I need to attach my ribbon, my bow, to this centerpiece. And I'm going to do that again using a cable tie. You can use um, chenille stems if you want to, but um, as this is going on a stairwell, it might get knocked about a bit, and I don't want to. Um, I, don't, I want it to be as secure as possible. And then it comes to attaching it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to the the uh, handle here, and I'm going to attach that using. Yep, you guessed it. Another cable tie, zip tie, but I'm going to use the medium length one now because obviously there's more of it to go around. And then I'm going to fluff up my bow. lantern which I'm going to hang as because I have my garland so it swags where it swag where it, you know goes up I will add this into the center of it so really quick and simple and like I say apart from the pine uh, branches the pine needles um, everything else comes from Poundland thank you very much for joining me crafters and I will see you again very soon take care now bye bye